I think the Regal's got a major part to play in the future of the city. It was pretty dilapidated. We were kind of putting band-aids on, I guess, for a very long time. Here's a sight to send a shudder through Perth theatre goers. It's Subiaco's beloved Regal Theatre, gutted, ripped apart as part of a massive refurbishment. It's been a long time coming and it's, we're so, I'm so excited to be a part of it. We'll show you the stunning transformation in a moment, but first, a trip down memory lane. The old Coliseum Picture Garden on the corner of Hay Street and Rockaby Road became the Regal in 1938. Owned by moving picture pioneer Paddy Baker, who lived upstairs, it was a cinema until 1976. That's when Kim Knight's father, Stan Bird, took over the lease and converted it to a live theatre. My brother and I grew up here, so we spent a lot of time while mum and dad were working. Mum was running the box office, selling tickets, and my brother and I used to have to come in on most shows and evenings and, and spend it in here while mum and dad were working. The foyer has remained untouched. You can see where the old movie tickets were sold from a tiny booth, and theatre tickets are still sold from the original box office. So you worked here as a little girl? I was here helping mum stamp the ticket, so we had the hard ticket system and it was a manual. Every single ticket had to be stamped and my brother and I used to spend hours, that was how we got our pocket money, stamping tickets so mum could sell them through the box office. Paddy Baker died in an upstairs room in 1986. Some of the staff swear he still pays them a visit. But with no family of his own, Paddy gifted the Regal to the people of Western Australia through what's now known as the Regal Theatre Foundation. I can't believe it's the same theatre. It is just fantastic what's happened here. It's wonderful. The Foundation's chairman, Richard Diggins, says the 1,060 seats have all been replaced at a cost of half a million dollars. And I hope the people, when they sit down in seats and have no springs pushing them in their back, uh, they will at least say, well, the theatre has been done well and it looks terrific. We had chairs in here that were older than the theatre, which is quite a story in itself. Some of the chairs were brought in as second hand when we put them in. So they were they're over 80 years old, some of them. The brief was to look at a refurbishment of the whole of the Regal Theatre. Architect Warren Kerr is upstairs where the balcony has been stabilised, the lights have been replaced and you can see the shiny new paint job restoring the crumbling theatre to its former glory. We've done a lot of research and background studies to ensure we maintain its art deco character and also to ensure that it meets the current uh, standards that patrons expect of a modern theatre. There's new carpet and new floors. We've kept the original timber floors in the lower ground floor, refurbished, refinished, resanded and repainted those floors. When you see these pictures of the work going on inside and the roof being replaced outside, it's hard to believe this has all been done in the past three months. One of the problems we had with the leaking roof was that we had patrons sitting in the chairs here in the theatre having a, a free shower from time to time. Lottery West and Subiaco Council chipped in the cash for this first stage of the renovation. The not-for-profit Regal Foundation needs millions more to spruce up the rest, including the outside of the building. This is the, the major part that is visible to the public and we have a number of subsequent stages for which we're looking for funding. It's so exciting and I can't wait for people to come in and see, see the changes and it just makes us really proud to, to be able to you know, offer this to the people. Of the thousands of singers, dancers and actors to tread the Regal's boards, Kim Knight names Scottish comedian Billy Connolly as her all-time favourite. We had a queue from here down to the train station. Uh, it was amazing, we sold over 7,000 tickets like within the first couple of hours on hard tickets. So it wasn't, it wasn't a computer, it wasn't online, it was all hard tickets. As for any backstage tales or diva demands? I probably can't say too much. <laughs> what happens in theatre stays in theatre. <laughs>